Hi, my name is Laura Romans and I'm an archivist with the University of Tennessee Libraries. Welcome to the first video in the Society of American Archivists instructional video series on describing archives, a content standard. In this video, we will be going over what archival description is and why it is important. Once this video is over, you should be able to define archival description, identify examples of good archival description, and understand the role of description in the use of archives. This video is free and available to anyone who wants to learn more about DAX, but if you sign up to take the DAX workshop for credit, you will be responsible for understanding this content and there will be a quiz to test your understanding. What comes to mind when you think about describing archives? Do you think of an archivist typing a list of folder titles on the computer? What about a donor creating a Microsoft Excel inventory of her papers? An online finding aid? What about an EAC, CPF, or MARC record? Or an accession record? If you thought of any of these things, you'd be right. But archival description also includes so much more. Archival description is not only a product, but is the encompassing process by which we create representations and explanations of records. Some archival description is the straightforward activity of recording what the records tell us about themselves. But going beyond this representation of the records, archivists are also in the position to say something meaningful about them. We can explain the evidentiary value of the materials, the gaps in the collection, the ownership of the collection, and the path by which it came to us. We describe the creator or group of creators of the material, and the context in which the records were created, used, and kept. We also describe our interventions upon the records, why we brought the records into the repository, what we kept, what we didn't, and why, our imposed organization on the materials, and even a description of ourselves, the archivists. Since archival description is the best method we have to explain the content, context, and meaning of historical traces, good archival description goes beyond a mere list of files. According to the Society of American Archivists, a glossary of archival and records terminology, the definition of archival description is the process of analyzing, organizing, and recording details about the formal elements of a record or collection of records, such as creator, title, dates, extent, and contents, to facilitate the work's identifications management, and understanding. In other words, it's a process that produces outputs containing predictable and consistent elements so that researchers can understand how records represent people, events, and ideas from the past. The first principle of DAX states that records in archives possess unique characteristics, and as a result, archival description has unique qualities as well. It differs from the description of other cultural heritage resources, like bibliographic entities or museum objects. Archival records serve as a trace of a historical process. They are valuable not just because of their content, but because they help give evidence of the creators and contexts that produce them. Archival description focuses on intellectually significant groups of material rather than individual items. It also describes how these groupings relate to one another within a single source of provenance, or collection. The level of detail with which each group of materials is described depends on the records themselves as well as the needs of the institution and its users. Archival description is mostly constituted by information about materials' stated content and physical attributes. This kind of information could eventually be discerned with enough time with the records, but considering the sheer scale of most archival holdings, as well as the tradition of keeping records in closed stacks repositories, describing the face value of records helps researchers find what they want reasonably efficiently. Just as important, however, is the role of archival description to provide crucial context about the creation and maintenance of records which is essential to the understanding of records' authenticity and reliability. Description of this type includes information about records' creators through biographical narratives or organizational histories, further detail 
on the historical context in which the records were created and details about how the records were maintained over time. It also includes archivists' interventions with the materials. For example, the choice to separate material from the collection, decisions made during arrangement and description, and physical changes as a result of preservation. Incorporating this contextual information is necessary because it is usually impossible for researchers to discern archivists' interventions in records contexts without finding it recorded in archival description. As mentioned at the beginning, the process of archival description results in a certain kind of product that helps users find what they might be looking for. These discovery tools may, and inevitably will, look different at each institution. Much like the process of archival description, the final descriptive output, or combination of outputs, will depend on the needs of your users and institution, as well as the nature of records being described. One of the advantages of DAX is that it is an output neutral standard that can be applied to a variety of different transmission and encoding contexts. An EAD encoded finding aid, a Wikipedia page, a handwritten index, an accession record in archive space, these are just a few examples of the many potentially appropriate descriptive outputs. Each of these has the potential to be DAX compliant. It's important to remember that the process of archival description is iterative. As one of the principles of archival description maintains, description can and should be reused and revised as a matter of course. For example, if you create an accession record for a newly acquired collection, maintaining DAX compatibility on a single level description, like a MARC record or an entry on your website, allows you to then reuse that description as a basis for a more detailed and multi-level finding aid. Or perhaps you grab an already established authority file on the creator of the collection and link it to the records created by her, thereby creating a web of interrelated and standards compliant description. Examples of dynamic and extensible description are numerous. For instance, you may initially describe a collection at the series level, but later revisit that description and expand it to the file level, given an increase in processing resources or user demand. Perhaps you initiate a crowdsource project to get the audio files in your oral history collection transcribed. Perhaps additional information about a record's creator is found after the initial description has been made or you take in a later accession to a body of records. In all of these cases, you are revisiting your description with new information. As long as new description also follows DAX advice, the outputs of your description program are endlessly flexible and responsive to your current needs. Description should always be considered a base on which to build and strengthen access to records. Now that we know more about what archival description is, it's also important to understand the reasoning behind it. So let's back up. Why are we even talking about this? Why do we describe archival records? To start with, archival description facilitates access to records. It is through archival description that we are able to provide access to archival materials and context about what they mean so that researchers may make a principled argument about what happened in the past. Thoughtful archival description also has secondary benefits to the repository. Through description, an archivist has a better understanding of her holdings and can address collection control, preservation, and security challenges. Ultimately, we collect materials so that they can be used. Our description is that bridge between acquisition and use. So to sum it all up, archival description is the process through which we explain the content, structure, and context of archival records. And by doing so, we facilitate access to those records so that our users may engage with them in meaningful ways. Thank you for listening, and be sure to check out the rest of the videos in the Society of American Archivists series on DAX to become an archival description pro.